Hi everyone, let's go over the next lesson in fusion. And that was balancing an equation. This is one of the most difficult things I have to teach, so I'm sure it's difficult to learn in an online situation. Let's start with the law of conservation of mass. It states that matter is neither created nor destroyed in an ordinary physical and chemical change. And this law means that we have to balance equations. We have to have the same number of atoms at the end of a chemical reaction as we had at the beginning of a chemical reaction. So we're going to use something called a coefficient. Now coefficients are numbers that you place in front of a chemical formula. For example here, this formula has both a coefficient and a subscript. The two is a subscript. It says two hydrogen at atoms in the molecule, but the three is called a coefficient and it means there are three molecules of H2O. The coefficient essentially multiplies everything that comes behind it. So it's three times two. I'll show you three times two or six hydrogens. And what would it be for oxygen? Three times one. So that's still only three oxygen in this formula. So the coefficient multiplies everything in the formula. So let's take a look at this. What is the difference between a coefficient and a subscript? Do you remember how we just described it? A coefficient shows the number of molecules in the equation, but a subscript shows the number of atoms in a molecule. It says to count the number, count the atoms of each element in the reactants and in the products. You can see that there are more oxygen atoms in the reactants than in the product. And um, let's let's do this. Split your equation in half like this along the yield sign, and we can see what we have. We have one carbon atom. We have two oxygen atoms. How many molecules of oxygen are there? There's only one, but each molecule has two atoms. And on this side, we have one carbon and we have one oxygen. Remember that if there's no coefficient or no subscript, it means one, understood one. So again, one carbon, two oxygen, and on this one, on the right-hand side, the, the uh, product side, we have one carbon and one oxygen. When the atoms are squished together like this, it means they're chemically bonded together. Now, to balance the number of oxygen atoms, you have to use coefficients. So we're going to say two carbon atoms, two oxygen atoms, and two uh, carbon monoxide molecules. So two. Um, carbons and two oxygens. And you can see how they put a coefficient two right here because there are two of these. And now we also need a two to go there. So the two shows two carbon atoms here. The two here shows the two carbon monoxide molecules and no coefficient here, although you could put a one.
Now this is a you try it, so here we go. Let's see if you can figure this one out. We're starting with two atoms of hydrogen and one molecule. One molecule of oxygen has two oxygen atoms and one molecule of H2O would have one, two hydrogen and one oxygen. So we'll put a two, 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 and one. To balance the number of each type of atom, we have to use coefficients in front of the appropriate chemical formulas. First, we'll sketch the products and reactants to see what we are starting with. Two hydrogen atoms in a hydrogen molecule, H2, so we have to put two hydrogens together. Two oxygen atoms in an oxygen molecule, O2, so we put two oxygen together. And then one H2O molecule will have an oxygen and two um, hydrogens. You could use whatever colors you want or simply write inside your um, circle. You could write an H like that to show what, it, what they are. And O's in these. And then one O and two H's like that. So you could put the chemical symbols inside of your circles if you want. And we count them up. Two hydrogen, two oxygen. On this side, there are two hydrogen and one oxygen. So I need to add another water molecule so that I'll have the two oxygen to match here. Let's see that again. There are two oxygen here and only one on this side. So I'm going to add another. Now I have to add it as a water molecule because that's what I'm given in the equation. I can't just put an oxygen. I have to combine the oxygen with hydrogen because that's what the equation shows me. Now I have four hydrogen and two oxygen. So to get a balance of hydrogen, I'll put another hydrogen molecule on this side to match it. Now let's change the numbers. Now I have four hydrogen and two oxygen on the left and I have four hydrogen and two oxygen on the right. So let's count our molecules. One, two, so I'll put a two here. One molecule of oxygen gas, which is O2, and two molecules of water. So this is the final way it should look. Now, you don't have to put a coefficient one here because it's understood. So if you don't want to put that, you could leave that blank. This is your final balanced equation. 2H2 plus 1O2 yield 2H2O. In other words, two hydrogen molecules plus one oxygen molecule will yield two water molecules.